I don't know. It's a base map, and it's pretty rough. We've still got a lot to finish, but it's ready to try. Yeah, let's give it a shot. Yeah, count down. All right, three, two, two, one, go. It's been a long time since I've driven this truck, I'll be honest. Ooh, I'm back in the saddle. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing a lot of cool stuff, but we've got the Allison, well, <laughs> what did I just say? We've got the Allison. Anyways, we've got Allison in the garage back home because I believe that I have the truck sold, which is really sad, but it's it's a good thing. So I'm glad to have that truck gone just because it's been taking up a lot of room. We do have the 2020 now and uh, it'd be nice to have the money for the truck instead of having the truck around being not used. I brought the Duramax back home and put it in the garage because we pretty much have a buyer for the truck. A guy came and looked at it today it is kind of sad though i've really had a lot of good times with that truck we've put a ton of miles on it we have gone on countless trips in the thing i mean we have been across the entire country in that truck all of us our whole entire team really and we've pulled the trailer we've pulled cars we've had mishaps with the truck it's just been a lot of a lot of memories i guess in it anyways though what is exciting about today is that we're going back to the shop right now and we're going to try to start the race truck i believe doug had everything in order and it's pretty much ready to go i believe at this point so we should hopefully be able to get it cranked over and hopefully Hopefully it'll start up. The sun is really bright. I can't see. I'm legally blind. I'm legally blind. If the truck does start, which I'm really hoping it does, but if it does start, it's probably gonna run like crap because it doesn't have a good tune on it. Uh, Doug has been working on the Holly EFI little interface for tuning, and he's been working on trying to get some kind of like a base map on there just to get it started up. And so I think we're about ready to test it out and see. But again, if it, if it does, it's really not gonna run well, but it's at least gonna be enough to make sure that everything's going good on it, which is exciting. After that, if you guys saw last video, you saw that we took a giant road trip in the GT350. We got that twin turbo built engine set up completely broken in the mileage is perfect now so we should be good today to change in uh the full synthetic AMS oil and take out that crappy conventional oil that we put in there for break-in which is also going to be really cool because that means that we can start really data logging and running it up past 6,000 rpm and running it up past 50 percent throttle and uh oh god we can hopefully get the boost controller put on and get it dyno tuned and find out what the car is truly making which is there's just a lot of good stuff happening right now long story short so can't really tell you guys everything that we're going to be doing but just know you've got a lot to look forward to at least Hey. Huh. Oh, I need this. <laughs> Anyways, so if we walk over here, you see that we've got a ton of room now that Allison is out of the way. So hopefully we'll be able to put something up there, lift it up, and actually fit another car underneath. We've got room back there still once we move the Camaro out of the way. So also, tonight, Daniel is going to be getting his car running, which is exciting. If you guys want to check that out on his channel, you can click above right now and go do that. But he's got the new engine put in it. He's got everything pretty much done. The only thing that he's got to do tonight is stab the trans, and this car is going to be running. Also, guys, the GT500 giveaway is now live, and you guys have been, like, absolutely killing it with the entries i appreciate it we are having trouble keeping up with the inventory it's really cool i love doing these giveaways like i've been saying because it's the, pretty much the only chance that i have at giving back to the people that have been helping me out since the beginning and all the supporters and everything so if you guys missed the video of us giving me to the new winner of that car you can go click above right now and check it out we had a lot of fun and he really enjoyed the car it was pretty wild we uh, let him take it on a test drive with me and he about scared me he was not afraid of that car at all so that was really cool to see it looked like we had just like pretty much planted a new little car enthusiast and he was really enjoying it. He really hadn't driven manual cars or anything like that and he hadn't really been in the car scene that much. So it was really cool to see a new person get into the car scene because of something that we did by giving them like a pretty much nice race car. That was really awesome. It's just, it made my heart warm. So Doug is on the phone still, but once he gets off the phone, we're gonna work on hopefully giving you guys an update on the race truck, give a first start on it, give it a shot, see what happens. Then after we get that done, taken care of, we're gonna move on to the GT350. We're gonna swap out that conventional oil, like I said, for that full synthetic AMS oil, which we've already got. We've got a filter, we're ready to go by the way also doug spent like 48 hours while i was working on the second channel video i actually that was the first time that i've edited a video in a long time but i edited the second channel's first ever video and i put it up and it took a long time to edit because it was really really in depth if you guys haven't seen it, you can also click above and check that out but at the time of me recording this video right here the channel is at 50,000 subscribers in only 24 hours which is insane i don't even know really what else do you, i don't even know what to say that's just insanity that's crazy we've got a lot of stuff planned um that we're 
we're gonna be doing on the weekends. Obviously, we do stuff at the shop all week long, but afternoons and weekends, we're gonna be trying to hopefully get some videos out, at least one video a week on the second channel, maybe more, depending on how well it goes. It's been, actually been doing well, though, so I'm probably gonna try to devote a little bit more time, but back to what I was saying. In the time that I was editing that video, Doug spent the time pretty much trying to rearrange the entire shop and get everything organized, and it looks amazing. So everything that was really messy on the shelf and everything, he got everything categorized, bend up, so like all the lug nuts are actually in little cups with the thread pitch and size and all kinds of stuff. We've got different fittings up there. We've got different coolants arranged, all the oils arranged, specialty tools. We've got electrical, brake clean, car cleaning stuff, exhaust piping, fab stuff, all kinds of stuff. So, boy, that was interesting. This truck is huge. So we're worried about now. The the vent pack lift says that it's rated for 14,000 pounds. This truck weighs 8,000. Yeah. Maximum lifting capacity. 14,000. The truck's only 8,000, so it should be good. It's just a huge item to be lifting that high up in the air. Jesus, dude. Stand back here. Yeah, I was gonna say, this is large, man. This is the most weight that this lift has seen yet. Shout out Ben Pack. <laughs> it's going, it's just a little bit slower climbing than normal. There you go. That's sketch. You wanna move the uh, GT500 under here? That way we got a little bit more room to work with for the truck. Hopefully our lifts don't decide to just give out and drop this giant truck <laughs> onto the roof of our GT500. That would be really upsetting. Yeah, you're clear. Awesome. All right, we got everything pretty much moved around. Allison's back home because we got to sell it, obviously. We've got the 2020 up on the lift now, GT500 below it, Camaro behind it. We've got the GT over there where it's stuck at for the moment. But we'll have some videos on that car coming up soon because we're actually putting that engine in, which is exciting. So make sure you stay tuned for that. The truck is here. I've been driving the GT350 daily like I told you guys I was getting it for. See, and y'all were doubting me. I told you I was going to daily drive it once it was done. But it is time to give this thing its first start, or at least try. <laughs> Doug has been on the phone with Holly over the last few days trying to call them and figure out every single thing that he's been running into there's been a ton of hiccups with it but everything's been going pretty smoothly i think shout out ty lucas and kevin at holly afi tech thanks for the help guys appreciate that <laughs> so about two weeks ago we made a video and we kind of gave you guys an outline of all the stuff that doug has been doing with this truck electrically so we've been trying to get the battery in getting all the ground hooked up getting all the main power all that good stuff hooked up to the ecu and everything has been going great as you guys saw probably in that video doug fabricated an entire harness for the truck completely out of nowhere and it looks amazing so uh, everything should work great depending on how good of an electrician Doug is. A terrible one. <laughs> a terrible one. <laughs> but let me give you guys a quick rundown of what Doug's been up to. So we've got our main power switch right here, which is actually ground. So you cut ground and it kills all power to the truck. We've got our main power running down the frame rail all the way up. We've got, as you guys saw, I'm not gonna go into full detail, but we've got the distribution block underneath. We've got our gas pedal. We actually had to get a different gas pedal that is compatible with the Holly stuff. This one's got a six pin adapter, whereas the other one I think had like a four pin, right? Yeah, I think it was a four pin, but either way, we'll fab up a bracket, but I just Wanted to make sure this thing worked first. Yeah, so give it give it some give it some throttle. As you guys see in here in the throttle body, we've got the ECU telling the throttle body to open up. So we've got drive-by wire working properly. Our new injectors from FIC are in. So huge thanks to those guys over there at FIC. As you guys see the banner up there on the wall, we use them for pretty much every build that we've got. We've got them in the GT350. We've got them in the black car coming up soon. We've got them in the race truck. Everything that we need injectors for there are the go-to. So if you guys are interested in checking out their injectors, make sure you click the link down there in the description. You can go check out. They've got injectors literally for just about anything. And they're really, really nice. They've been great so far. So we got the injectors put in and also all the powers ran the alternators hooked up the belts installed uh, intake manifold from Holly is put on fuel rails are put on we've got our adapter fuel rail from the stock pump and stock lines up to our fuel rail for the Holly got all that adapted and hooked up our headers are on we've got new spark plugs put in plug wires coils hooked up all kinds of stuff all our base spark base fuel base everything I tweaked a couple little settings here and there but it's gonna need a lot more oh, yeah. for a first start we'll try it and see so like he said if you guys have been watching the channel a while you probably already know this type of stuff this lingo but we we got a base map put on the truck, which is basically just a tune that is simply just to get it running. It's obviously not good enough to keep it idling probably, but at least we'll be able to get it started and make sure that everything is working properly. I don't even remember the last time this truck was running, honestly. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. I lied. Yes, I do. The last time that this truck was running, whenever we went to Galat Motorsports in North Carolina, we took the black car, we took this truck, and that was the fastest pass that I'd ever ran in that car. It was right after the two-step got on, and then shortly after that, I ended up running mid-nines, so that was cool. But unfortunately, that day at the track, the truck started 
having trans issues, so we had to pull the truck down, and while the trans was out, we were like, well, let's go ahead and convert it over to Holly EFI. In theory, that sounds awesome, but unfortunately, we had a lot of complications along the route, and uh, Doug luckily swooped in and mother goose this thing back to life, so we've got everything, I believe, fixed on it now. There was a lot of problems with it before and a lot of things that weren't hooked up and weren't ready, but I think Doug has got everything on the Holly EFI system pretty much set up and ready to go at this point. Do you want to just check under the hood, make sure no leaks and everything? Yeah. Fuel pump is priming, so we are looking for fuel leaks now out of the injectors, which it looks like all the injectors are working good. Throttle body is working great. Uh, nothing is in the way, so I think we are clear to start. How confident are you in it? I don't know. It's a base map, and it's pretty rough. We've still got a lot to finish, but it's ready to try. All right, let's give it a shot. Yeah, countdown. All right, three, two, two. One, go. Doug, I love you. You this like that exhaust? Sick. Sounds cool. <laughs> you said sounds cool. That is insane. Uh, no freaking way. I'm like, I don't even know what to say. That's crazy, dude. This this is the same fuel too that's been in there forever too, and it's still that could be a reason for the sputtering. Yeah, this gas is only there for like two months. Yeah. Wow. This car sat for a year and started right up, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> Did it sound good? I, I don't even, I, I'm not sure what to say at this point. That is sick. Eight second drag truck inbound. Oh, so at this point, that's exciting because we got our first start. All we got to do at this point is fit, hopefully finish getting everything front to back patched up and getting it set up and ready to go for tuning. Whenever that's taken care of, I think we're just going to bring it to a tuner and let them put a map on it. Once we get a good map on the truck, hopefully we'll be able to start driving it around. We're pretty much there though. If it's starting, that's that's as close as we need to be. So as you guys see, we've got a little switch panel here. So all you do is flip it on. Whenever you're ready to start it, you just... Obviously, we're not going to start it again, but you get the point. So we've got a lot of cleaning up to do, obviously, in here. We still got to get our holly screen and get it put in and mounted up behind the dash. After that, we're going to put two seats in here with brackets, harness bar, harnesses. Um, redo our headliner because it's falling for some reason. Fab up a bracket. Yeah, fab up a bracket for the Actually, gas pedal. I figured we'd put it over here so the passenger can be the one. Oh, that have sounds to steer. terrifying. Yeah, I'll put it right there. Mm -hmm. No brake, just the pedal. I think it's going to be really just about getting everything fixed up and getting it ready to strap on a dyno and get it tuned. This is crazy. Can we talk about how good this sounds too? No like, kidding, dude. It sounds like a freaking pro mod. Bro, this is my new favorite song. Sorry, sorry, Jaeger. After everything is patched up, though, I guess we'll start looking into what the next phase for the truck is. Once it's running and actually reliable NA, then we'll start looking into to break it again. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully not. Job security. Oh, Jesus Christ. So after that, we're going to be looking into probably some sort of boost application. We've got a built trans. We've got the stock engine in there. So we're probably going to have to look at probably some type of built engine for it. I don't I don't know exactly what we're going to do with it yet. Technical issue. No, they were thinking of everything. I'm not really worried about that right now. My main focus now is getting it running consistently, getting a tune on it, and hopefully taking this thing and being able to make some passes in it. I'm so excited. And after that, I guess we just decide on what we want to do with the truck. I, I kind of need you guys to help for this i don't know if we're gonna go with like maybe a single turbo setup now that we relocated the battery put a nice turbo right here and maybe another one over there or one over there or nitrous or i really don't know i do know that we need to get a built rear end and also a solid one piece drive shaft in here and then after that ensure that the stock motor is going to let go and that's probably going to be the next thing that we focus on as an engine so that's going to be a few months down the line though oh you know what i just now thought of too doug since it's tuned on holly now we can probably remote tune it huh i can probably find somebody that can tune holly over email i'm not gonna lie i would like to 
watch somebody tune it so I can learn about the Holly platform in case we do need to troubleshoot or have yeah. anything happen. Let's see if it'll just start up and stay idling now. Okay. No! <laughs> Oh, is the idling on the phone now? What? Give me some, son. Yo. Oh, no. Holy hell. Well, what do you think? You gotta start an idle. I just had to tinker around a little bit. There's no idle air control on this right now because it's a drive-by wire. So what I did is basically, <clears throat> I changed the ratio of our pedal to our output on our uh, chart. I mean, that's just a quick way to get it to hold about 10%. So you see pedal position uh, oh, you just versus our- Oh, at the bottom. So yeah, versus it being at zero and it's not seeing anything. So that was cracked a little bit to keep it idling basically. Just a hair because there's no idle control yeah. right now. I got you. Well, sick, did dude. that and then I played around with the AFRs to give it a little extra fuel and it, it idled around 14.7s with the wide band was showing. Well, there you guys have it. We got the truck started up. At this point, I guess Doug's gonna continue tinkering on that. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this GT3 350 onto the lift get that oil swapped out and after that we're pretty much done for the day i'm sorry that it was kind of a shorter video and not that much going on i just could not not show you guys this truck's attempt at the first start it, it had to happen what a perfect way to end a friday it is friday afternoon here beautiful sunset race truck just now started back up now we're done with break-in so we're pulling the shelby in to get the oil changed even daniel's car is about to start up soon that's sick everybody's stuff is going in the positive direction man caleb fixed his car oh yeah caleb got his car running too poe got a new car poe got a new car everybody's everybody's driving everything now <laughs> my toolbox got messed up in shipping doug's toolbox got fucked up in shipping Woo! that really ruined my day <laughs> all right i'm gonna stop talking let's pull this thing in <laughs> Oh, nice. That looks good. While y'all are doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this dang Anzoil and get 10 quarts ready. Here goes a few hundred dollars in oil. Anzoil, please sponsor us. Oh, she's getting dry. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Ah! Like me after eating macaroni. What? A macaroni casserole. That's what that's what you do after macaroni casserole? Mex Mexican macaroni? Yeah. Yeah. Standing outside of Daniel's stall, that's all you hear. Just like, <laughs> I eat Taco Bell at least four times a week. Imagine, that imagine if eventually we built a bathroom and whatever giant office we get, and we got individual stalls for every person. So if it's dirty, it's your fault. And then like each person can customize it, put TVs in their bathroom stalls and whatever. That'd, That'd be cool. pretty cool. This is why Daniel can't, can't get rich. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the dopest bathroom. Ever. Yeah, I'm Daniel's gonna to have TV in front of my bathtub. Jesus Christ. Y'all gonna be wasting money on. Sh I'm gonna have race. That's not Yeah, Doug's gonna have 10 Vipers. Dude, and... you shower every single day, or at least you should. If you don't, I don't know why. But imagine being able to enjoy your showers even more. Not only are they hot, but they're entertaining too. You wanna grab a cup so we can take a test sample from this break in or what? Yep. I love this little light. This light was a great investment. That way now you guys can see everything that we're doing instead of it being pitch black. It's only 200 bucks too. Go, blue, go! Me and Doug argue about cobalt in Milwaukee so much. Hey, look, I ain't gonna lie though. This is handy. Yep. They did a good job. With Milwaukee that. got one of them too. Anyways, you know, I, got, I got six extra volts, bro. Can I pull this? I mean, it's your life. What? You can do whatever you want. I was man. asking if you wanted oh, to get it. Up? Yeah. <laughs> all right. Let it, oh, hang on. I don't want to let it all out. I'm going to just get enough to get this collection and let you move it. We got some dark, dark too. I don't really see anything, but we can take this and send it to Blackstone. I'm just happy to see that everything seems to be going in a positive direction now. Except for my toolbox except for doug's toolbox you're right literally as soon as we're done putting this oil in we're officially done with breaking we're good to go then after that we get to start on the gt get that car back together get that car back running after we get that car back together and running we get to start on truck i wonder how this tastes hamzel no taste? no nope, don't drink any more oil why are you licking bro it's kind of bitter quit licking oil all the time you're gonna die from petroleum poisoning oh don't worry i'm gonna die before that gets to me same thing as always guys we're gonna prime this thing up real quick since we did take our filter out we're gonna prime it all through the filter before we start it clutch down gas down two three four five six seven all right let's go well 
Cool, there we have it. We're done with braking, guys. We got a lot of stuff done today, even though it was a rather short video. We got the race truck running, which is wild. That is something that I have been waiting on for a long time, and I know you guys have too. I can't believe it, but it is finally here. Now we just gotta figure out what we're gonna actually do with it and the direction that we're gonna go with it. I have a few things in my head that I wanna see happen to the truck, but unfortunately, like I said, we need to get the thing running and actually idling good on a bass tune. So I'm gonna work on finding a tuner that can tune Holly EFI around here and take the truck to him, get a bass tune on it, and we'll put some miles on it. So in addition to getting the truck running, we got the GT350 finally finished being broken in. We're good to go on that car, so there's gonna be a lot of stuff coming on that really soon. I hope you guys are ready for that. We're gonna crank that thing up and see what it will do. If you guys enjoyed this video, please drop a like. Go down to the comment section, drop a comment. Let me know what you guys think that you wanna see out of this truck. Also, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on. I think that's gonna be a wrap for today's video. Oh wait, before we go, don't forget to get your entries to win the GT500. Go to www.itsjust6.com. Every $10 that you spend on merch, you're gonna get automatically entered in to win this thing. So basically how that works is if you spend $40, you're getting four automatic entries in to win the car. We've only got a little bit over a month until we're gonna draw a winner for it. So go get entered right now. And that is gonna be a wrap for today's video. So I'll see you guys next time.